But when you remove the number zero from any of these number sets, now multiplication becomes a group and we can write this symbol like this. Again, we go back to the identity being written as one. We use standard multiplication inverse notation, or we even just simply use concatenation to write multiplication. Here's an exercise to decide which of these are groups. You may have to do a slight act of interpretation to decide what I am saying the operation is in each example, but it should be fairly natural. In this section, we'll just kind of point out that although the requirements that we gave for uh, identity is that it be two-sided, actually you can remove that, just do a one-sided, and you actually can prove that even a one-sided identity must therefore be two-sided. And the same is true for inverses. Now, I don't think this is too crucial for our study, so I'm going to leave this as an exercise. We'll move on next to more examples of groups. A very important example of a group is going to be modular arithmetic, and for that we're going to have to do a pretty good intro to number theory.